tradition in agriculture is needed for the profitability of the farmer to empower farmers and also reduce post-harvest losses. Welcome to the Ghanaian Farmer TV show. My name is Enyunam. Share your views with us on social media across our platform, the Ghanaian Farmer. Are you interested in going into noni farming? This episode is made for you. Just share your views with us. Your questions are welcome on our YouTube channel, the Ghanaian Farmer. This program is proudly brought to you by Lizzie Tomato Mix. If you go to the market in your shopping, make sure you grab one of your Lizzie and bring it home to prepare all your meal. Like I'm saying, um, the one thing that is lacking in agriculture has to do with value addition. Are our farmers able to add value to the crops they harvest at the end of the day? That is a big question that needs answers. And Mr. Jacob Eshan Jr., who happens to be a farmer, an educationist, and a public health consultant, is changing the narratives by adding value to the noni he harvests from his five-acre noni farm here in Ghana. We are going for a quick breather. And when we come back, we'll engage Mr. Eshan in an intensive conversation. Stay with us. <laughs> The fact that you had applied to these banks and you were, you know, rejected. Yes, because the product is new to them. Two, the money I submitted money to uh, Noguchi Memorial Institute mm. to test money for COVID because from my research, money handles viruses mm. and is capable of handling all the COVID presentations. Mm. So I took it to them, test for COVID. And they wrote to me, they were going to charge me about 90,000, rough 80 something, almost, uh, let's try to say 90,000 mm. Ghana, new Ghana city. So I took the letter to bank. No bank is ready. They asked me, Mr. Shen, so you are going to give all this money to Noguchi? I said, yes. They have written. So what is on the paper? Pay to them. They said, so when they test, they've taken the one. I said, yes. They said, Masa, this one there. We are not ready to take such not, risk. No, 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 no. The money is too big. I've gone to three banks. Mm. None is ready to pay that thing. Have you so, tried, since your product has even traveled to Canada and other parts of the European yeah. market, have you tried writing maybe to international partners to see if you can get some funding? Yeah, actually, uh -huh. before the COVID came, mm. someone in Caribbean wanted me to move from Ghana to Caribbean to come and do the money in Caribbean. Mm -hmm. So they, yeah, they said they would give me free access to the European market, mm -hmm. free tax, whatever. Mm -hmm. So I sat back and I said, no, the original idea was to produce this noni to help my people. Okay. I have my sisters and everything here, and Ghanaians must have, and we have the best of soil. Mm. So why should I leave Ghana and go to Caribbean? Mm. Then fortunately, the COVID, bam, it You're came. Okay. Then I had another listing from um, Canada. Okay. They wanted me to come and come to Canada and come and produce the noni there. Okay. Then I told them that from my research, mm. Canada and US, mm -hmm. they are on the same uh, what do we call it <laughs> wavelength. Mm. So. Noni will not survive in the U.S. When you plant, you, 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 can, you can get workers over here. Once you are there, they will be sending you the finished product. Uh, please, like it is what I've seen. Eh? Mm. You must be here and supervise your, the thing yourself. Otherwise, you'll be shocked. You mean you can't entrust your work please, into the hands of Please, never them. entrust your farm into people without your presence. Mm. I beg you. I'm not like that. I'm mm. action-oriented. Okay. I must be there myself. Okay and teach you this is how I want it. Apart from funding, what other issue would you consider a major concern to an ordinary Ghanaian farmer? One, we lack leaders who have the vision and the know-how on noni benefit to this country. So all the policies, mm. there's no way you could see noni. That's why I intentionally asked those noni questions at the conference. Mm. I have read all the policies and this thing on agriculture in Ghana. Mm. There's no way. Even three crops in Ghana, no is not part. Okay. Now, you, you, you know about the benefits, okay, mm -hmm. for this product or for this, you know, tree uh, 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 how do you call it? Tree, this plant. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Have you tried to organize maybe a little fair, a conference to bring the key stakeholders we have a lot of private stakeholders who also have the development of agriculture mm -hmm. at their heart. Mm -hmm. Okay, they are contributing their quota to ensure the development of progress for the agri space, like GIZ, for instance, the Agra, and other foreign 
partners are also. Have you made an attempt to organize something for them to visit? You tell them the benefit, the process, the you know when you put fund in this, how much you're getting. Have you made such attempt? Because yeah, you can't I, just sit down and always yeah. make presentation on paper. Yeah, and actually, mm -hmm. I I I think before the COVID, mm -hmm. I was trying to organize a conference where I'll bring Dr. Sulmonel, mm -hmm. the world renowned researcher on Noni okay. in US. Right. I was trying to bring him to Ghana. Okay. That was my plan. Mm. And unfortunately the COVID came in, mm -hmm. so everything got aborted. Okay. And then I have also uh, uh, read about all those uh, institutions who mm -hmm. are doing agri. So any agri program I hear, I try you to make be sure pre you attend. present. I was at the AFT, the after program at mm -hmm. the conference, mm -hmm. the conference center. I am the one who spoke on Noni. If we were at a conference, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all the two days, all my questions I fired came from Noni, one to FDA and one to the banks. That is why I had a contact with the Stambic Bank top guy, and then we started. Mm -hmm talking mm -hmm. but still and then i've also contacted somebody in canada mm -hmm. so uh, what he could say is that then he will register we should need to register the loony in canada so that when we finish with the new renewal here mm -hmm. the papers will be sent to canada then we see how the thing could move from canada because we wanted to come and invest but somebody i, I approached somebody and the person was interested in taking 51%. How many percentage are you ready to let go? 10% at $2 million. 10%? 10% two at $2 million. million. Okay. Yeah. I'm sure an investor would make further checks on what informed that decision. But, yeah. okay, before we even, you know... Uh -huh. Move on that line. Let me uh, say something. From, from all the problems you have mentioned uh -huh. that ordinary farmers are mentioning, I mean, you have, you know, carpet to what you are going through yeah but what do you think that stakeholders can do i mean there, there has been a lot of talks there have been a lot of conferences but what should we do what should be the Number way one. forward what should be the, the way, way forward, forward is mm. we lack the leadership drive for new crops because they lack they don't know that money is more economical than cocoa so the the policy that they have for cocoa we should have the same policy for noni because the health benefit of noni far outweigh that of cocoa and the farmer will benefit from noni more than cocoa because even when the farmer is sick in the farm the person the farmer can take the noni and get healed you build cocoa hospital in accra and the farmer is in the bush in us when the farmers are going to the bush, ambulance follows them. So those who, who are sick, they are treated at the bush there. Come to Ghana. Nobody does that. No need. We need to change. Last time when I asked the question from the policymaker, they said for the three crops, the policy they did, and the three crops they selected, no need was not part. It, it tells you that they have little knowledge or no knowledge on the health benefit of noni and it's economic importance to this country. Are you saying the um, CSIR isn't aware of this crop? Do you know what? And that's why they are not researching or make, uh, making proposals on it. Mm -hmm. uh, SR, let me tell yeah. you. My team member, I have a friend who is also into the research. We team up with mm -hmm. Legon, mm -hmm. Noguchi, Legon, IT, Public Health, CSIR is part of it. Even the memorandum, uh, the MOU, they brought a whole lot of documents. Meanwhile, I said, this is the thing. Now, the document that is in motion, they are working on. Mm -hmm. I am part, I'm, I'm one of the, 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 the what do you call the farmers they are rely on mm -hmm. to produce the money for that program. Mm -hmm. Now, Legon wants to come to, uh, and partner us. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Myself, the royal, we are four. Mm -hmm. But the documentation, mm -hmm. as and now, eh, my friend, uh, Alfred, he has presented Noni mm -hmm. to Noguchi for eye drop, mm -hmm. for nasal drop, for ear drop, mm -hmm. for uh, a whole lot of conditions that Noguchi should take. They've tested that thing is good. Even now, we are using it among ourselves. Mm -hmm. The eye drop and the ear drop. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Legon is aware. CSR, they did some of the research for him. Even now, let me tell you something. Last week I spoke to him. The MOU, it has gone forth and back, and now it is with, uh, they said, 
um, Legon. Legon wants to be part. So they bring the I mm -hmm. ICT department mm -hmm. where they will code every tree. Mm -hmm. So the MOU is going back for review. Mm -hmm. You see, we are sitting at the same place. Oh. So you are going round, 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 round. It's round, 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 round circle. Okay. So the idea is, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> the policy makers, mm -hmm. it's like nobody is ready to, to take action. They, they enjoy a uh, merry-go-round. You know, it is said that there is strength in unity. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many noni farmers we have here, but I'm sure you know yourselves. I know yourself. Have I, you, have, have, I have, have, have even got, created mm -hmm. a platform that okay. we will discuss. So you have it. a platform. But when I realize it, mm -hmm. the bottom line is everybody's kind of money. That's why um, myself and uh, Pinto, mm -hmm. we said we should move it from that level to the policy. They said, let's team up with institution. Mm. So it will become strong mm -hmm. like the cocoa board. Mm -hmm. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. So now they've come up with a proposal of board members. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the board members don't have noni farm. Mm -hmm. Me, that's the issue I raised with them. Mm -hmm. We are the people. Why are we not on the board? Mm -hmm. But you go and bring because the person has money. If he has money, you should go and dig a hole and put the money inside and see whether the <laughs> money will, will germinate. Okay. But we are uh -huh. the producers, mm -hmm. and we the producers, we are not part of the board. Mm -hmm. And you go and form a board and say the people have money, this one will bring this money, mm -hmm. and you are building silos. Mm -hmm. You see what I've done? Mm -hmm. They are now going to think of building silos mm -hmm. so that we put the noni fruit mm -hmm. inside. Look at I'm already gone. Right. <laughs> are you getting it? Okay. So uh, it's like uh -huh. our policy makers. Mm -hmm intentionally frustrate you mm -hmm. to take the project from you. Wow. That's what I've seen. Mm. They intentionally, they, they, they travel outside, mm. right? Mm -hmm. When they are sick, they take them to U.S. Ask them, don't they give them money? Is the money they give to them to heal them? Okay. So why is that when they come to Ghana, mm. they don't go and farm money? And even support Noni. Right. Meanwhile, when you go there, they use Noni to treat you. It's never a dull moment with Jacob Ishan. <laughs> it's never a dull moment with him. Coming up is 60 seconds on our Greek, after which we'll be rounding up on the interview. If you're a young man out there, young woman, you are an investor abroad and you want to go into agriculture. Today, I have introduced another money-making venture. And that is noni farming. If you want the best of seed, Jacob Ishen says you can contact him. So let's take a quick look at what is trending within the agriculture space. When we come back, we will wrap up on the interview. For more information, you can always go on our YouTube and watch a lot of other interview. But take a quick look at this. I'll be right back. <music> So gone by was 60 seconds on our Greek. You're still watching The Ghanaian Farmer on Joy Prime. My name is Enyunam, and this program is proudly supported by Lizzie Tomato Mix. Of course, many thanks to Crocodile Market for supporting us as well, supporting our initiative, Support The Ghanaian Farmer. Wherever you are, if you have anything to support a farmer like Mr. Shen, for instance, if you want to support his project, you're welcome. Just contact us. We'll meet you and we'll know what kind of support you have for him. Go on our social media platform, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Ghanaian Farmer. Today, our focus is mainly on value addition because most of our farmers don't have the means to add value to the produce or... They don't have the knowledge, but he's making a difference by adding value to Noni that he's harvesting from his farm. So we are about to wrap up 
the conversation. We've mentioned about the farming bits. We've mentioned about what inspired you to go into the processing or the production or adding value to it. We've mentioned about the challenges an ordinary Ghanaian farmer faced. And then we, we are now going to the solutions. You've talked about stakeholders and how they are not Policy. actually being moved to support what your project and many there are many farmers who might also be facing the same challenge now as as an individual who is making a difference an individual who wants to carry this dream to another level a concerned farmer creating jobs i know you have laborers on your farm who are working for you now these frustrations are some of the reason why young people don't want to go into agriculture yeah. you know but what do you suggest that moving forward policy makers especially government mm -hmm. should consider you know in doing to transform the face of agriculture in the country number one mm. government must emulate that of the chinese mm. they set up a special bank mm, all their citizens who are going outside china to bring agricultural products they give them that they assess money from funding that, from, from that them bank at less than one percent mm. interest. Mm. One uh, Chinese friend told me that with the current rate at the bank, mm. I should never go because I can never pay. It, it is practically not possible. And finally, they will take my project from me mm. because they, they are getting loan less than one percent. So how do you compete with them? That's why China is becoming superpower now. Mm -hmm. Not that they have brains, so we have brains than them. Mm -hmm. So we need to emulate that. Mm -hmm. Two, I want the government to collapse ADB, merge it with CDB, because they have failed on the policy of agriculture development. Three, the policy for tree cropping in Ghana must change and include noni. Noni is the fastest way the youth of this country can benefit. And it has enormous benefit more than cocoa. And it is direct to the farmer and its family before it comes to the community and the national. Mm -hmm. So I'm advising every youth, wherever you live today, mm -hmm. plant at least one noni, noni tree. tree. You save yourself and your family. It's like putting hospital mm. beside your bed. Mm. Two, the economic importance of non far at weight uh, cocoa. Mm. So the money that they are going to secure for cocoa farming, government should secure the same money for non farming. In your research, have you been able to come up with how much income Ghana makes annually from non sales? Uh, you know what? That data is not available. I have done my research. And how much do you find? Ghana is not on the on the do, on a document. Ghana is not exporting money. Okay. But it is Locally. going. Locally. Okay. Individually. Individually. Okay. People buy it and mm. it goes. So they don't have documentation, proper documentation mm. or shipment mm. proper. Mm. Mm. Two. From my research, mm. I'm a public health mm. consultant. I have researched deeply. The the profit the the uh, uh, profit on money. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Goes way, 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 way. Now let me start. The farmer who plant the noni, mm -hmm. if you plant even in your house, all ailments, you see, the leaves is medicinal, the fruit is medicinal, the, the back seed. of it is medicinal, mm -hmm. the seed is medicinal. Mm -hmm. So when you are sick, mm -hmm. you just plant the leaf, boil it and drink, mm -hmm. or use it to cook food, mm -hmm. salad, and you are and okay. And you are good to go. When the fruit mm -hmm. is ready, mm -hmm. you can plant it mm -hmm. and eat it raw. So you don't need to sit down for malaria to, you know, that when you eat the food, mm. it kills malaria, uh, it destroys malaria parasites. I see. But meanwhile, we sit in Ghana right. and go and mm. import malaria drug from mm. outside. Mm. It seems we have something wrong with our brain. <laughs> but That's what I'm saying. <laughs> right. That is the immediate benefit. Okay. Before you think of even coming to sell the fruit, mm. because some people are now beginning mm -hmm. to realize the importance of it, mm. so they look for the fruit. Mm. So the poor farmer in the village mm. can even sell the fruit. Mm. Do you know what? The dry leaves. In my farm, mm. a certain woman come to take the dry leaves, go and boil it, mm. and send it round, and people buy it and drink one uh, one CD per the cup, mm. and it's making money from it. Okay. The dry leaves, I don't need it, so but the, so I am in, in, indirectly and, uh, giving employment mm. to somebody. Mm -hmm. When you get it, mm. and even the farming, mm. 
we need a more people to harvest. At times, I don't have people to even harvest because every month you are supposed to harvest. Okay. So if a day you are paying 50 Ghana cities per person and you have 100 trees, it creates a 50, lot of 50 employment. 50 times 100. Right. Is that okay? okay. Aside that, mm. when they come mm. and we are processing mm. the factory, mm. I have to go and rent machines. Mm. Those who come and operate machines, mm. I pay them. Mm. Is that okay? Mm. When we get it, and now I want every hospital to have money. And I'm pushing that money should be on the NHIS list right. of drugs. Okay. So that every Ghanaian mm. could be given. I wish Smith mm. will come and partner me mm. so that I can produce money for all our senior citizens. Anytime they go to bank to go and take their salary. They are giving free money bottle. They take it along. For the That's a month. bigger dream. That's a bigger dream by Jacob Eshen Jr. He's a farmer, an educationist, and a public health consultant. He has five acre noni farm. He's been doing this for the past 11 years. And he, he's encouraging the youth to invest. Or if you are planning, considering, or venturing into the agricultural sector, you should consider going into noni farming. Now, we mentioned every other thing but one thing i forgot has to do with is there any infestation at all that also affects noni plant noni plant actually doesn't have uh, much infestation we don't have okay. problem with infestation okay uh, because um, mm. when it starts flowering mm. you have insects coming to eat the flowers mm. by so doing they do cross pollination mm. and they also use it for only production mm. because if it has a lot of flowers okay so even when you have noni farming right. you can also have only harvesting there you mm. can harvest only mm. within your non plantation mm. because of it flower and then when during the dry season mm. you see the leaves shrinking okay that's the only challenge we have oh, okay during dry season you see the non leaves now shrinking to reduce transpiration right because when it loses a lot of water mm, mm. it will just be dying shrinking uh -huh. okay. so it has its natural but at right. people see it as a disease but my research has shown that it's it not. is not a disease. Okay. But as soon as mm. uh, it starts raining, mm. you see the leaves opening back. So it is a natural way of preventing losing water. Okay. The, okay. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Jacob Eshen, how much is this bottle? 50 Ghana cities. 50 Ghana cities. Just one liter bottle. Okay. So, viewers, I am going to taste my own. Because it's not easy. <laughs> eh? Me and my, my cameraman, we will take plenty and we we'll keep in our house. But this has been an educative, eye-opening interview on noni farming here in Ghana. It takes a lot, but it also gives you a lot in return. So you might want to consider. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today on The Ghanaian Farmer. My name has always been Enyona Manye. If you see me in town, just call me Ghana's finest farmer. Yes, I'm fine. <laughs> and Mr. Je Mr. Jacob Eshen has been my guest. Until next week, we'll come your way again with another, uh, you know, excellent farmer who is doing something exceptional to help the development of Ghana. Thanks for staying with us. It's a bye for now.